the data for the latest major quantum travel overhaul is in, and at least two major aspects have been changed. Number one, the fuel tank, both hydrogen and quantum, for every single ship has been changed, as well as every single quantum drive has been changed. Now let's take a look at the specific data on Urkel. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday I made a video explain in detail the specific patch note explaining this change. And I'm going to put a link of the patch note and my video in the description down below in case you haven't read the patch note. We're going to take a look at the quantum drive change first on Urkel, and then we're going to go to Ship Viewer and take a look at the changes for specific ships regarding their fuel tanks. So if you go to Urkel, simply click quantum drive on the left. It will show you every single quantum drive in game. And this one in darker color background is the current PTU change. And on the top right corner, you can find the specific patch that matches this change. So this is the latest PTU patch. And then this one, the background is white. This is the current PU. First is a size 4 quantum drive. This is called Allegro. This is what A90 Jump uses. So the old speed is 117,654 kilometers per second. And the new speed is 300,000 kilometers per second. So the speed has been doubled. Now, if we look at this, this is the old travel time of this quantum drive. Currently for the PU, travel from Crusader to Herson takes four and a half minutes. And now in the PTU, in any jump, Algro, travel from Crusader to Herson takes two minutes and 42 seconds. And now the health for this quantum drive was 4,000 hit points. And now the health is 3,000. So it has been reduced by 1,000 hit points. So that's the size 4. Next is the size 3 quantum drives. And I'm going to categorize it by class. And these are the old speed for the TS2 is a 208,561, which is, I think, the fastest. Yes. And then the other is Pontus, 188,000. Now, look at the new data. They're all the same speed now, 240,000. But of course, everything is subject to change. But for now, this is the newest data. So this is the direction it is going. The quantum drive speed has been increased. And now take a look at the health. The old size 3 quantum drive health is mostly 2,500 and some are 4,950, some are 5,175, especially TS2, almost 5,000. And now the health data is TS2 reduced by half. Right now it's only 2,200, Pontus, comma, 1,300, and the rest is, they're all different now. An Echo and Drifter, only 940. So for a size 3 quantum drive, you have only 940 health. Wow. So these are the health change. The health has been dramatically reduced, but the speed has been increased. Let's use TS2 as one example for the size 3 quantum drive. The old speed for the Carrick traveling from Crusader to Herson will take 3.5 minutes with the speed change. Now, 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Travel time reduced. You know what, let's check this out. This is a size 3 Vesta. This will be the slowest size 3 quantum drive. The maximum speed is only 53,000. Industrial D, let's choose this. Now, using Vesta, travel from Crusader to Herson on the Carrick. The old speed, it will take 10 and a half minutes. Wow, that's a long time, 10 and a half minutes. Now, the new speed using Vesta, yes, Vesta. That's crazy. Still 2 minutes and 52 seconds? Oh, yes, of course. The reason is because now the size 3 quantum drive travel speed has been equalized to 240,000 kilometers per second for every single one of them. But I think this is only temporarily. They probably will rebalance the speed soon because if 
all the quantum drive speed has been equalized, then there is no need to buy the TS2, right? And this will cost you a whole lot of money. An industrial D quantum drive has the same travel speed as a military A. Does that sound right to you? So probably only temporarily. Okay, let's move on to the size 2. So same thing for the size 2 quantum drive, the travel speed. Before, the travel speed are all different. Being the XL1 is the fastest, 260,701 kilometers per second. To the lowest, which is the industrial D, this one. 67,037, that's it. And now, speed has been equalized to 190,000. So some of the quantum drive speed has been reduced, like the Jaeger XL1, which has the advantage in the previous patch. Because, you know, if any new player in the server asking this question, oh, how do I save my travel time? How do I travel faster? Everybody will answer him or her by an XL1 quantum drive or crossfield or Jaeger. Of course, and if your ship requires a size 2 quantum drive. But now, the advantage, there's no advantage anymore. Just buy the cheapest quantum drive if you're not doing combat. Take a look at the county using XL1. Before, it takes 2 minutes and 45 seconds to travel from Crusader to Hurston. Right now, it's a little bit longer. 3 minutes, 21 seconds. But if you're using an Industrial D quantum drive, yeah look, this is size 2. So travel time before for the county, Crusader to Hurston is 8 minutes and 19 seconds. And right now, will also be 3 and a half minutes. Because every single one is going to be 3 minutes and 21 seconds. That's it. Which means you don't need to change your quantum drive for your ships. Whatever the stock quantum drive on your ship is already the fastest in its class. That's it. At least for now, until CIG change the speed for different quantum drives again. But one thing you need to pay attention is the health of the quantum drive. So before, the size 2 quantum drive health is 2,320. And now, the health has been dramatically reduced. The highest one is the XL1. is only 1,400. And some can go as low as 490. Wow. Okay, size 1 quantum drive. So for the size 1 quantum drive, remember? The way was by an atlas. Now let's take a look. The speed before was diversified. The VK00 can go to 283,046 kilometers per second. And now all the speed has been equalized to 165,000 kilometers per second. The way has been changed. Let's use the Pisces as an example. The travel time before using Atlas is five and a half minutes. And now from Crusader to Hurston is a little bit over three and a half minutes. But something else has changed. So using Atlas before, you can travel from Microtech to R Corp, which will take eight minutes and 21 seconds, but you don't have to refuel. But look at now, even using Atlas, you can't just travel from Microtech to Arcorp anymore. You have to refuel. Is there a quantum drive that I don't have to refuel? I don't think so. If the Atlas has to refuel, then any other size 1 quantum drive has to refuel. So this is a major change here. The way has been changed. The health for this size 1 quantum drive was around 1,054. Some are only 324. But now, the health, the highest is 900 something, but mostly are around 500, lower than 500, 360, 450. I think 360 is the lowest health. Okay, now let's take a look at the individual ships on Ship Viewer. So, and these are the change logs. So just click vehicles. All the ships are here. We don't have time to look at every single one. Let's just pick a few ships. What we're going to focus on is the fuel management. Fuel capacity, this means hydrogen fuel. And quantum fuel capacity obviously means quantum fuel. 
and the amount you can see the number is 9 million this means micro ICU that's the unit and the conversion rate is this 1 million micro ICU equals to 1 SEU. So the Avengers hydrogen fuel has been dramatically increased from 90,000 micro SEU to 9 million micro SEU, which is 9 SCU. And the quantum fuel capacity has been dramatically increased from 612 micro SEU to 500,000 micro SEU. Let me click the ship and see. So that is correct. The hydrogen fuel is 9 ICU here, the small words right here. And this is hydrogen fuel tank. And the quantum fuel tank is 0 0.5 SEU now. Even so, when I check the Avenger Titan on Urkel using whatever size one quantum drive, you can make one jump from Crusader to Hurston, no problem, three and a half minutes. But you cannot jump from Microtech to R Corp anymore. And the way of the Atlas is gone. So there is no other way, but you have to stop and refuel. Wow, wow, wow. Aegis Eclipse. This is insane. Hydrogen fuel increased to non ICU. But look at the quantum fuel. 11.6 million, which means 11.6 SEU. Here, 11.6. SU. An Aegis Eclipse can travel far without refueling. Microtech to R Corp, six and a half minutes. Aegis Reclaimer, hydrogen fuel, one billion now. So 1,754 SEU of hydrogen fuel and 16 SEU of quantum fuel. We also have a time for intakes to fill tank. This has been increased a lot. What is this? Feels like it's the amount of time takes you for you to fill the tank. If this has been increased, then it will take much longer time to fill the tank. I'm just going to pick a few more ships to look at because every single ship has been changed. And if you want to know the specific ship, I do recommend you use this website and use the method I'm doing right here. Find the ship you like and check it out. I can't look at every single ship. So take a look at the Drake Colors Black. The hydrogen fuel has been increased to 36 SEU. That's good. And the quantum fuel capacity is 1.2 SEU. And the time for intakes to fill tank also increased. Now, RSI Constellation, the county. Hydrogen fuel increased to 66 SEU. And quantum fuel increased to 3 SEU. Freelancer Max. Hydrogen fuel, 58.5 SEU. Quantum fuel, 1.2 SEU. This is the same as the colors black for the quantum fuel. C1 Spirit. Hydrogen fuel, 45 SEU. And quantum fuel, 1.2 SEU. It's the same. M2 Hercules. Hydrogen fuel, 132 SEU. And quantum fuel, 8 SEU. Origin 400i, hydrogen fuel 60 SEU, quantum fuel 3 SEU. The 400i has more quantum fuel than the Cuddies. Origin 600i, hydrogen fuel 180 SEU, quantum fuel 4 SEU. Origin 890 jump, hydrogen fuel 1200 SEU, quantum fuel 12 SEU. And that's it. Oh, and just got this message on Spectrum and just in time to include it in this video. So CIG says something about the ridiculously high quantum fuel price. Not tonight, but the next 3.24.2 build after should have a fix in for the fuel prices. They were getting multiplied by some backend resource network systems. So getting worked on now to update later this week. So here you go, guys. The high quantum fuel price is, after all, a mistake. But personally, I do think we should increase the fuel price for both quantum and hydrogen fuel in a reasonable amount. The current price in the PU for the longest time is way too cheap. There is no consequences for refueling. But as we all know in real life, refueling has a lot of consequences. And we check the gas price on a daily basis sometimes. So. We should implement that into the Star Citizen. Have a higher quantum hydrogen fuel price, but not ridiculously high. That's it.